Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and we are about to cook some good, good cooking right now. Okay, so we've got, let me show you guys, I've got my pork chops. We've got some pork chops here. Y'all know I've had them marinating all night long. Gotta bring them in for y'all so y'all can see all them spices and seasons that's been sitting on them. Y'all see the starter show, don't I look at that. Y'all see the parsley, oh yes. These pork chops have been marinating overnight. I cannot wait. I am going to fry those babies. I haven't had fried pork chops in a while. Yes, we're going to fry some pork chops. And today, I'm going to do my mac and cheese. But I'm doing a mac and cheese I've never done on this channel before. I am going to do honey smoked ham mac and cheese. That's what I said. Honey smoked ham mac and cheese. Wait until you guys see it. I know you're going to want to try to make it. Well, you know, y'all better make it. Y'all going to make it. So, all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's go. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, I'm back. And we are prepping for our mac and cheese. And I saw Publix had this sharp cheddar cheese. It is the, um, the pre-cut, the cheese cracker cuts. As you guys can see, it's already that pre-sliced cheese. You know, for like if you want to lay it on a piece of cracker or something, or just eat it as a snack. Publix had these on sale, two for eight. And that was perfect because I always buy the cubes and then I chop them up. So, since they had these on sale, I was like, this is perfect. See, it's already pre-sliced for me. That is perfect. So, the only thing I got to do... Because making mac and cheese can get a little pricey. Buying all the cheese and all that stuff. Especially buying the cheese. It can get, get a little pricey once everything adds up. So any way you can cut corners on saving your coins, you want to do it. So since these were two for eight, I went ahead and got two of these. So these are going to be perfect, you know. And I usually get the sharp and the mild. Uh, sometimes I'll do all mild cheese. Uh, but today I'm going to do sharp and mild. Because I love the combination. And basically all I'm doing is just... Putting these in stacks and I'm just gonna get them cut up. Got my noodle, got my water over there for my noodles. See, I'm just gonna cut this up. They make nice little little uh little cubes for me. Nice little squares for me. And I'll just put it in my bowl over here. That's all I'm doing, getting my cheese all sliced up. You know, people do, I also do the shredded. You guys saw, I'm going to do the shredded cheese also. But I also like buying the block cheese. In this case, I've got the cheese slices because they were on sale. But I also like using, um, you know, cutting some cheese into cubes. I always do that. And I use the shredded too, but I definitely like using little cheese squares. Little cubes of cheese, so. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting these all sliced up and um, I'm using my uh, new cutting boards that I got. I mean, I've been using them, but this is my first time using them in a video. Uh, these are the Whirl. It's a three piece set. I will link it below guys in case you want it. It was really cheap guys for three um, and it's the big one, the medium one, which is this one and then the smaller one for fruits. But they were really inexpensive guys so I would definitely leave the link below for you guys in case you want these I got them from Amazon I think they were like 20 bucks I mean they were really cheap y'all y'all know me I'd be saving my coins so these cutting boards are beautiful they're pink they come in all colors pink's my favorite color so of course I got pink I love the pink trimming they come in gray aqua I mean they've got a lot of colors so I'm sure your favorite color is in there somewhere but yeah I will link it below guys because I know somebody's going to ask me about this cutting board. So let me go ahead and finish getting my um, cheese all sliced up, chopped up, guys. I got my big bowl over here. That's where I'm going to put everything at. Um, this water is starting to boil behind me for these noodles. Uh, my noodles. Did I show you guys what noodles I'm using? I am using. This is the... Uh-oh. All right. Calm down. This is the Barilla, Barilla Elbow Noodles. And this is the one pound box. As you guys see here, one pound box. That's the Barilla, Barilla Pasta Elbow Noodles. Yep, just gonna use one box. One box goes a long way. 
So you don't. It just depends on you know how how many people you're cooking for. But this one box of noodles is is gonna be way. It's gonna make a nice big pan of noodles. So nice big pan of mac and cheese. So. All right, guys, let me go ahead and finish getting this cheese cut up, get these noodles boiled, and I'll be back so you guys can see everything I'm going to be dumping in there to make our honey smoked ham mac and cheese. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm ready to build my mac and cheese. I've got my noodles nice and hot, as you guys can see the smoke. I like working with the noodles where they're fresh and hot out of the water. I've drained them. I like everything to be nice and hot, so everything melts together. So we've got our box of noodles. Let's go ahead and get our butter in. Okay. Now that butter, that is about guesstimating here, guys. That's about, uh, I'd say about half a cup of butter. half a cup of butter get that mixed in because see while my noodles is hot my noodles will melt that butter get that all mixed in nice and hot half a cup of butter don't need a lot because too much butter will make it oily your uh, cheese is already gonna make it oily so you don't want to over oil your mac and cheese it'll be just too oily if you do that all right cracking in my eggs Got to be careful cracking in your eggs. Got to be careful because everything's hot. You don't want to have scrambled eggs. So, I've added three eggs. Put that to the side. I've added three eggs before I stir in those eggs. Remember, the noodles are hot. I don't want scrambled eggs. So, I'm going to pour in my milk. I've got one cup of milk I'm putting in right now. Of course, I'm going to add more milk. But I'm not going to do it right now. I just need it cooled off to get my eggs mixed in there. Like I said, we don't want scrambled eggs. So, keeping my eggs with the milk, getting them mixed in because your egg is what makes the mac and cheese stick together. Helps everything stick together. Now that I've got them mixed in, I can go ahead and mix my eggs in everywhere else. Like I said, you got to be careful doing that because you don't want to add the eggs. Your noodles are hot and you don't want to get scrambled eggs. Been there and done that. When I first learned how to make it, start making it on my own. As you cook, you learn, you know. As you cook things, you learn what to do and what not to do. What works for you and what, what doesn't work for you. Everybody cooks different. Don't compare yourself to other people's cooking. Everybody cooks different, honey. Everybody cooks different. Word of the day. Never compare yourself to anyone. Everybody's different, honey. We are all individual, unique individuals. God made us all individually unique. Never compare yourself to anyone. That's the word of the day. Start giving y'all some words of the day. Shucks, I need them, y'all need them. Words of the day. That fat noodle out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding our cheese. I'm going to add my cube cheese first. I'm going to add that. And as I add the cheese, I'll see how much milk, how much more milk I need to add. Got our butter and eggs in there. I'm sorry, guys. That was half a cup of um, butter. That was three small eggs. And that was one cup of milk so far. Right, looking good. I'm gonna finish adding our cheese. Let's get some more cheese in here. Let's get some more mild shredded cheese in here. My mac and cheese, I love it cheesy. We love it cheesy. So that's one bag of the uh, mild shredded cheese. And the, uh, you guys know I have the two uh, cheese. My little uh, cube cheese I cut up in there. The two for eight cheese I showed you guys earlier. Got that in there. One bag of this shredded cheese already. That is the mild. And like I said, today I am doing mild and uh, sharp. 
I do need, as you guys can see, it's a little dry, so I am gonna add more milk, but I'm gonna add my cheese first. Finish adding my cheeses. Let's add another cheddar. Now that other bag of Sargento cheese, I love putting on top. So I had two bags of Kraft and I had two bags of Sargento cheese. I love saving one bag of the Sargento cheese and putting it across the top of my mac and cheese. So I'm gonna get this mixed in real good. Make sure you're getting everything from the bottom of your bowl, bringing it up. Okay, all right, adding this last bag of mild cheddar shredded cheese. Now, I'm gonna add my milk. I'm gonna add another cup of milk. Bringing it all together. You don't want your mac and cheese to be dry. So, that's why I added that second cup of milk and I always add my milk as I go because I add it according to if I need it how much I need don't want to over milk it either so that's why you add your milk as you go do it does it look like you need more milk then you add more milk this mac and cheese is looking good Bringing everything up from the bottom of my bowl. Make sure you ain't got no puddle of milk sitting down there. We are doing it up, guys. All right, guys, my battery's going dead. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Life of a YouTuber. Okay, guys, I am back. I uh, got my backup battery. Another word of the day. Always have a backup plan. And sometimes you gotta have a backup to the backup. But we'll get into that another day. All right, let's finish. Uh, we've got our mac and cheese all mixed up here. Everything looks delicious. We got it all mixed up. This is going to be real nice and cheesy. Nice and cheesy. All right, and let's not forget, last but not least, our honey smoked ham. Is it honey? No, it's not. It's just hickory smoke. Okay, smoked ham. Got to add that in here. Just gonna take it and just add it. Get out of the way so you guys can see. Just adding it. And you know what? This is a meal all by itself. You got your meat, you got your mac and cheese, you got your ham and mac and cheese, that's it. This can be a meal by itself, guys. Nice little quick dinner idea. Throw the ham and the mac and cheese and keep on rolling. All right, let me get my hands washed up. nice and clean okay let me get my ham mixed up in here now y'all can't tell me that don't look good ham and the macaroni and cheese you don't want to put too much ham it'll be too salty you know one pack is enough one pack is enough I mean you can add more cheese if you want I don't I mean you can add more ham if you want I, I just do one pack you could do a second pack. I could do a second pack, but I don't want to over ham it. It'll just be, it'll be salty mac and cheese, you know? So, all right, everything looks amazing. We've got that ham all mixed in there. Oh, that's gonna be good. That is gonna be good. Y'all know I'm gonna have to bring it back to let y'all see how that mac and cheese turned out with the ham in the inside. Y'all know, y'all know I'm gonna bring it back. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see how it's looking. The ham all in it. Get that. Delicious. Ham and the mac and cheese. Y'all know I'm a mess. Alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, mac and cheese panned up. And get in the oven. I'm putting it at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put it in there for about 30 minutes. Because I want everything to melt together. So. Uh, I'll see 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna see but I'm gonna put it at I usually put it at 350 for 30 minutes guys. 
I will be back. And of course, y'all know I got to get them pork chops ready to be fried up. So I'll be back to fry those pork chops. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to fry up the pork chops. I got my pork chops and flour over here. Let's go ahead and get them in this flour. Just lightly putting them in some flour. I've got a plate here with some flour laid down. And I'm just flipping my pork chops over in the flour. Y'all know how that goes. All right. Take some of that flour off. Oil is nice and hot and ready. My oil is ready. Yes, it is. I'm ready. Y'all know I stay ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Let me see if I can squeeze another pork chop in there. You screw them over. They're going to cook fast. Yeah, let me see. I can squeeze another one in there. I think I got another little one here. Yep. Squeeze another one all you need to do is lightly flour it. You don't want to put too much flour. Oh yeah, that fits in there just fine. And your oil is nice and hot. Your oil is nice and hot. Help everything fry up quickly. Not too quick. Y'all don't want to cook it too quick. I just turned my oil down. Now that I've got it nice and hot how I want. Yep, that flipped over. And these are the thinner pork chops. These ain't the real, real thick ones, so. It's not going to take them long to cook up. Not going to take them long to fry up. Not when your oil's nice and hot already. Yeah. Yep, nice and hot. So, all right, you guys see the pork chops have been all, uh, well, not all the pork chops. You see I've dropped some of the uh, pork chops in the oil. Not going to let y'all sit here and watch them cook. I'm going to go ahead and get them cooked up, and I will be back. You guys will see when I'm bringing them out. Fried pork chops and uh, smoked ham mac and cheese, guys. That's dinner. Actually, Sunday dinner. Sunday's best. I'll be back. Okay guys, everything is done. All our pork chop is fried up. Our ham, macaroni and cheese, smoked ham, macaroni and cheese is out of the oven. And y'all already know I'm taking y'all in. Let's get over into them pork chops. Woo-wee. Y'all see the starter show. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all see. Woo-wee. The pork chop. Well, y'all see it. Mm, 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 mm. Let me turn those pork chops around so y'all can see them better. Oh, yeah. They are amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Lightly floured, lightly fried pork chops. And let's go on over to last but not least. Ooh, look at that. Look at that smoked ham mac and cheese. Y'all see the pieces of ham sticking out? Ooh, back up. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta take y'all in. Y'all gotta see it. Really see what's going on. Ooh, look at them cheesy clouds. Ooh, we chunks of ham in there. I'm telling y'all, this is delicious. This can be a meal all by itself. All right. Y'all seen me do it. Y'all know I did it. Y'all know. Y'all know. All right. Well. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.